Hey teenagers, how you doing? I am down here at the new property. As you can tell, looking behind me, I'm in the gymnasium there. Really excited about this. Uh, thanking God for it already and just praying that God continues to work. Uh, we obviously already have a signed uh, offer in there. They've accepted that offer. We're in the due diligence process, uh, getting it inspected, have a couple inspections already done, have some more coming up. And so praying that those all go well, praying that um, if that offer has to be adjusted at all with those inspections, everything will go smoothly. Um, also pray that things would be open. Um, there are a lot of things with real estate that have just ground to a halt. Uh, as pastors looked at different things with loans and stuff like that, evidently there are several places that do commercial loans that are just closed down. They're not doing any more loans. Uh, pastor has found some other options and looked and has been working on that. It's not closed down. Uh, the ones that we are looking at going with, but um, just pray that the stuff remains open. Stuff is uh, able to get done. We can get the inspections done. Uh, we can finalize that offer as those inspections come in and everything is accepted and that we can close on this, get in here as soon as we can. I have been looking forward to being in here, having some activities in here. And uh, as soon as we sign on the dotted line, we want to have an activity in here right off the bat and get in here and have a good time together. Obviously, we got to pray that everybody gets feeling better and this coronavirus thing clears up. And so praying for all that as well. I also want to share a couple of quick verses with you. Just from my Bible reading, I have been reading in Psalms now. I finished up the uh, devotion series that Pastor brought. The church was doing a lot of the church uh, with going through the New Testament. And I finished that up and I was just asking God where he wanted me to read. Felt like he told me to go back through Psalms for right now. And so a couple verses I've had from Psalms. Uh, Psalms chapter number 5 and verse 1 says, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Um, I read that verse and coming along there and I, it just made me pause and think, uh, do I want God to consider my meditations? Has my thoughts been in a way that I'd say, yes, Lord, here it is, open page, you can look at it. My thoughts are following along with what you'd have me think. And just a reminder to me, God knows everything. Uh, you know, sometimes we can put on a good face or hide things from those around us and we can't do that from God. Uh, you know, Wednesday nights, we usually come in, and after the youth service, we have accountability groups. You know, you can come into the accountability group and say, oh, I've been reading my Bible, and I've been praying. Hey, everything's good between me and the Lord. And you can put on a good front and walk out and say, I haven't been doing any of that. And, and you can deceive people. You can put on a good front, and we just have the choice of believing you or not, but we can't really see what is inside. But you can't do that with God. And you know that verse, consider my meditation uh, you know, asking the Lord to know what my thoughts are. God knows it. And, and just made me pause and consider that. Uh, you know, it's not just the front that I put on. It's not just how good I can look and what I can say and, and how I can act. You know, God knows my meditations. God knows my thoughts. You know, as I was thinking about that and continuing to read, I got down to Psalms chapter 7 and verse 8. It says, The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to mine integrity that is in me. Um, you know, a lot of times we like to focus on grace and how our sins are forgiven. And thank God for that. I love to look and say, hey, I don't have to worry about hell. That is a, the cost, the price that I deserve to pay. But God's already paid it. I don't have to go to hell. Thank God for that. And I love that. I love thinking about my sins have been removed as far as the east is from the west, that they've been buried in the deepest sea, that when God sees me, he doesn't see my sin. He sees me as redeemed through the blood of, his, of the lamb. And I, I'm thankful for that. But this verse here also says the Lord shall judge the people. And um, no, not going to send me to hell. But God does look at my life and he keeps track of my works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. He does look at me and according to the way I live, uh, either draws close to me or, or moves away. And I want God close. I want a good relationship with him. And so when I think of that, it says the Lord shall judge the people. Then David, as he's there talking to him, he says, judge me, O Lord, judge me. And here's what I want you to judge me. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to mine integrity that is in me. David had the confidence, not only say, Lord, I want you to consider my meditations to know all my thoughts, but Lord, when it comes time and I am here to be judged, 
and you're going to look at me and you're going to decide um, your relationship with me and the rewards that I receive or the punishment that I receive. Lord, judge me according to my righteousness. Judge me according to mine integrity. Why? Because I'm living a life that I know is pleasing to you. And I'm keeping you first. And I'm doing what you want. And Lord, as I do that, here's my life, an open book. Lord, look down at my righteousness and hold me accountable according to my righteousness and mine integrity. Just made me think, can I say that? Um, do I want to be judged according to my righteousness? Uh, God knows my thoughts. God knows everything about me. Am I willing to just set that out there in front of him and say, okay, God, judge me. And I know that the, the judgment that will be passed down is going to be good because how I've lived with you. You know, during this time, we maybe have a little more free time, a little more time by ourselves. Or whether we spend that just sitting there thinking or watching movies or playing video games or reading books or whatever it may be. Or we're living our lives in a way that we could say, Lord, judge me according to my righteousness. Look at me and judge me according to my integrity. And Lord, I know that if you do that, my relationship with you is going to be right because I'm living the way you want me to. I'm thinking the way you want me to think. I'm looking at the things you want me to look at. I'm saying the things you want me to say. And um, just an encouragement there, I hope for you. Uh, make sure we're living our lives in a way that gives God glory and honor. And that makes him rejoice. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you. I'm praying all this goes over. Also, Saturday, we're going to have the drive-in service, so I'm hoping to see you there. We can get out and talk to each other, but we can wave at each other through the window, and it'll just be a huge encouragement to see you guys. Love you. Can't wait to see you.